Hi, this is Dave, Roofing Done Right at 30 Prestwick here in Peachtree City. Appreciate the opportunity to take a look at the roof here. I want to show you what we see going on. Um, as far as the shingles go, they look to be fairly new. Uh, this roof looks to be in pretty good shape. Lots of life left in it. A um, couple things I did want to point out though. Uh, some of your gutters are starting to pull loose. You can see you have nails backing out there. Um, your gutters are rusted out pretty good. Um, yet I still think they're functional. Not sure if it'll zoom in enough down there as well, but you have um, another nail along there you can see that pull, uh, pulling out and it and you got a few of those going down through there so it'd be a good idea to just resecure all the gutters that's going to prevent them from pulling off um, as far as the roof and things um, you know really the only thing I'm seeing is some rusted HVAC stacks a lot of caulk and goop around there so I'd recommend cleaning that up um, painting caulking it sealing it up um, that's gonna make it look a lot better be sure it doesn't leak your pipe boots, um, they look good. I would recommend a rain collar. It's a rubber piece that slides down over top of that. It's gonna seal it up, um, prevent leaks in the future as well. And, and again, more HVAC stacks and another pipe boot and do the same with all those. And then um, you have these turtle back vents. I would recommend caulking around them and sealing them up as well. But honestly, you know, most everything looks, um, you can see here, like it's already caulked and sealed. And, and that's the majority of the roof. Um, your chimney cap is starting to rust you know that uh, good paint job over that would help seal it up and be sure that rust stops um, doesn't keep rusting out um, but probably really the only real issue I'm, I'm seeing is uh, lots of areas we'd recommend um, kick out flashing that's gonna help prevent um, some rotten fascia and things like that and, and what kick out flashing does see if I can get down on here and show you a little bit um it would go like and down in this area uh it's hard to see but that that wood is cut back in there i think the home inspector will have it in his report but we put a piece of flashing in there making the water go into the gutter and then we'd seal all up behind it and take care of that um, so it'd be done uh, lots of different areas anywhere like the gutter meets the house um, there's another area um, there's an area on the front of the house um, a couple areas in the front of the house. Um, there's an area over here as well that I'd recommend it being added down in there too, just to make sure that water goes into the gutter and not down and along the chimney, uh, along the siding. Um, the final thing I did want to point out is your little shed here. Um, it appears that there's just an old shingle laying on top of there. I don't think it's sliding out or anything. It's just a used shingle that nobody took care of. So I did want to point that out to you as well. Um, but you know that's what we see happy to answer any questions you might have um, I'm Dave roofing done right. Thanks so much